Hey everybody on YouTube, this is Monkey Explorers here with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going to Adobe Photoshop CS3. Uh, Photoshop is a great program for text, editing images, making movie posters, which I'll probably do eventually without using any copper images. And, and it just makes your stuff look so much more professional and it just helps quite a lot with whatever you're doing. So you see this text right here. It's good because it can be inserted into Adobe After Effects. And you see how, like, I'll go into detail in a bit. There's no background on it, it's little pet these boxes, which won't be there on the end file. And you've got a title that has a linear wipe to it, and the view on boss, and stroke. And I'm going to teach you how to use these and just make it look effective. So, what you're going to have to do is go to File, New. Just doesn't matter the size of this because we're just doing a test. So you're going to go to text, just to make it trailer text type thing, you can size it a little smaller, so if it's on one line, that looks good, make the box a little smaller, it doesn't make a difference if it's big or small, I'm just doing it for the sake of it, just even it out again. Alright, and over here, you see this background, right over there, you're just going to click on the eye and turn it off, so it looks like this. If you want to change your image size to be smaller, simple to do, just go to image, image size, and just change it to, I don't know, 500 by 500, and it'll look smaller like that if you want, but I'm just going to keep it big for the sake of this one. Just go to effects, go click on reveal and boss, contour, gradient overlay, and stroke. For stroke. All you're going to do is change the fill type to gradient. Go back to field embossed. And just you can change the depth up so it doesn't look as thick. You know, you know what I mean? You don't have to use this text either, obviously, if you have it. It's just I like it a lot and it looks well with the videos. Just increase and decrease the size of it and it'll look pretty good with whatever you do. Before we save it, all we're going to do is just click on this and just decrease it to 1 on the stroke. It'll just look best that way and it doesn't look as bulky. Press OK because you don't want to just cancel and not, you'd have to redo everything you just did, which I've done so many times and it's really annoying. Let's go to Save As. Tutorial Text 2. Make sure it's compatible, that way it'll work in After Effects. Just go to After Effects, File. Import. That's it. Make sure it's merge layers. You can do all three if you want, make it separate. But it just makes it easier like this. Look at that. The text is there. So let's just say you wanted to put like a background on it or something. Um, let's just. Say we're using this picture. This is the World's Collide poster I used in the fan film I created with the other editors. I'll include a link if you want to check that out. But okay, just imagine World's Collide wasn't there, so increase that a little bit. No, the other one. Get that right. And see, it just looks good. And you can put effects on this, obviously, make it look more impressive. If any of you are curious on how I do lens flares in certain days, it's really a simple thing to do. Just drag it down there, and you have something like that. I think lens flares look great. You can always add the vortex file. I've included in other tutorials and stuff. And this is just for fun now. Not really much left to this tutorial. Just making a cool looking lens flare, in my opinion. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So definitely use this type of text if you want to make impressive looking trailer text because you can put effects on them in After Effects. And it really just allows you to have a larger grasp at what you can do in your trailer.
For those of you who don't use great Terrellar text, then like maybe just use Sony Vegas type text. It isn't very great. I'd highly recommend you switch to this kind of text because it would just greatly improve your videos or whatever you do. Well, everybody, this has been my first Adobe Photoshop tutorial with a little bit of Adobe After Effects. I'll give you hopefully more Photoshop stuff because it's not that hard to use. It's more fun to work with. I'll probably do it in different types of things like remove blemishes and like blemishes and then zits, like show how you can move them from your face and make yourself look not know, better looking or something. And there's just great stuff with Adobe Photoshop. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been educational for you. If not, please tell me how I can improve it because I'm always up for improving my stuff. But until next time guys, I have a more tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you.